Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kari, and since the last time I uploaded my videos about dietitians transitioning to the UK system, I've gotten lots of questions, and also to the people that have joined the Telegram group that I created, I also got <laughs> some <laughs> similar questions from them as well. And um, the most common one of it is that um can microbiologists actually apply for the hcpc and yes yes that's the straight answer the straight answer is yes microbiologists can also apply for hcpc and i think when you have to start your application you have to click on the clinical scientist and then you have to select the part of it like your, your own specialization they call it specialty where you are specialized as a clinical scientist and of course you have to also go through the everything about the requirements of the hcpc to know which one you have to do and it's the same for all ahp ahp means the allied professional health um those are the physiotherapists the microbiologists are clinical scientists biomedical scientists dietitians radiographers speech and language therapies, autopsies, and quite a number of them that way. So everybody goes through the same HCPC process. It's when it gets to the job search part that it gets separated and you have to focus on different things because the job search, the support information, the interview questions are all definitely different. But the process of HCPC application is the same for all allied health professionals so <laughs> that answers your question in a very short form microbiologists as well can also apply for HCPC so it's good for you to, to go through the standard of proficiency make sure that you are registered with the appropriate body in your country because that's the only way you can prove to them that you have been practicing so you have to be registered to a professional body because HCPC will send mail to each and every one of them. I've discussed this earlier in my previous videos. They send a mail to your school to confirm your education, they send to your professional body to confirm your registration and that you have a good standing with them and also they send a mail to your workplace as well. So yes, you want to definitely do more findings and um, be able to study more on how you are to apply and what are the other things that you would need to do as well. So, in my next video, I'm going to be talking about the do's and don'ts of uh, HCBC registration, which is across for everybody. So it doesn't matter if you are just a dietitian or if you're a physiotherapist or if you're a scientist. Any everybody just has to follow these simple do's and don'ts. So until <laughs> I see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye.